but it wasn't always the case. We've even found shark teeth embedded in mosasaur bones, so the sharks did get their teeth into them from time to time. By the way, wasn't it a mosasaur that was found in a mine back in the 18th century? Here we are, very close to the mine where the famous unknown animal of Maastricht was found around 1770. Like all paleontologists, Olivier Rippel knows this story very well. In 1795, when the fossilized Mosasaur of Maastricht arrived in Paris, Georges Cuvier was a young 26-year-old anatomist who had just started working there at the Museum of Natural History. This skull was the first great fossil ever to be thoroughly studied by scientists who found it quite difficult to classify this creature. But it was Georges Cuvier who would provide the solution based on comparative anatomy. The reptile from the Meuse River, the Mosasaur, was a giant sea lizard, a close relative of the monitor lizards. But the species became completely extinct before the dawn of time. And so the Mosasaur helped to support Cuvier's hypothesis that several universal cataclysms occurred on Earth in the distant past. And thanks in part to this large animal, Georges Cuvier is recognized today as the father of paleontology. At the end of the Cretaceous, the interior seaway running through the middle of North America had not yet completely disappeared. 